The mood over the last few weeks for Bitcoin holders is looking at the price like, come on, Bitcoin, come on, do something. Bitcoin just there the whole time. Come on, check me, man, check me. Ah, I love it. I love the game. I love Bitcoin. I love markets. It's all so much fun. Today, I've got some very interesting news that I want to share my reactions to with you. Big stuff on CBDCs, government slave money. Also a hilarious crypto song to share with you as well as a very interesting Easter egg, I guess you can say, from Apple. So let's get into it. So the first one I wanna talk about is this Apple story. So this guy said, I just discovered that every copy of Mac OS ships with a hidden PDF of Satoshi Nakamoto's Bitcoin white paper. Yeah, that's real, that's real. New versions of the Mac OS are shipping with the Bitcoin white paper in them, it's all the Macs. Hats off, don't have a hat on. But if I did have a hat on, my hat off to that developer who uh, snuck that in there. That's cool, that's funny. The next one I've got here for you is actually a hilarious song from the Crypto Couple. So if you're not following these guys yet, go and follow them on Twitter. They make hilarious content from funny music videos like this one to comedy skits and all kinds of other cool stuff. So do check them out. This song's actually from a few weeks ago, but I wanted to A, play it because it's funny, but B, this comment here from Peter Schiff who ran across it somehow. His comment, you're both very cute and very talented. Too bad you're wasting both by pumping Bitcoin, flooding the world with fiat cryptocurrency is not the solution. Gold has been the soundest money for over 5,000 years, but it ain't broke, don't try to fix it. Come on, Peter Schiff, what are you doing? A, I guess you're very cute, Peter. What, what kind of comments that? Anyway, come on, man, I love gold. Gold's cool, man, but it's like just, you know, it's just inserted in every conversation, but that's his game. That's Peter's game, that's what he does, man. Hating on Bitcoin and Pumping on gold. What are you gonna do today, old Peter? Oh, I'm gonna hate on Bitcoin, gonna pump some gold. Oh yeah, uh -huh. okay, okay, Peter. All right, <clears throat> let's listen to this song here. <laughs> yes, we did. Where does it come from? Do you just print it? We print it digitally. So we, you know, we, as a central bank, we have the ability to create money. Print, print, print. <laughs> <laughs> That's too bad. <laughs> no, they don't. Can I just say how funny it is that we're now in a situation where we just all sit around waiting for what Jerome Powell's gonna say about the state of money? What kind of world have we made? Satoshi knew, man. Satoshi knew we needed a better system than this. And there's no end to your ability to do that. There's no end to your <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, central banks, they just print it, man. They just push the button. And the sentiment of that song, I think is best summed up here by this comment. The fact that billions of working men and women must sacrifice 40 plus years of their time, energy, health, and focus to gain access to fiat currencies that central banks replicate with a keystroke is injustice on the largest scale humanity has ever seen. Yes. Absolutely that. When you actually understand money, understand what's going on, you realize that the whole fiat banking system, it's all a giant scam, man. It's basically one giant freaking Ponzi scheme. And the fact that they hold the keys to the castle in terms of they can print money whenever they want and however much they want and they hand it straight to their banker friends. Not to you, they don't give it to you. Oh no, they hand it to the bankers first. They could play with it and then you might get some table scraps left over later on. It's a broken system. Again, Satoshi knew, he, and Satoshi knew that he wanted to make a better system for the world. You know, the, the kind of mood here of uh, central bankers coming up, this is you trying to live your life, you know, and then bam, oh, inflation gets you smashed down your, and your life savings are gone and you're screwed. That's basically it right there. And of course, the central banks, it's not their fault, right? Look, this is from, uh, the Central Bank of England, they said our money printing spree did not cause the inflation crisis. Guys, trust us. I know we printed truckloads and truckloads of money and handed it straight to our banker mates, but that didn't cause the problem. It was you. You caused the problem. It's always your fault. Whatever happens, it's your fault. This, of course, is a ridiculous statement. Central banks in England and Europe and the United States and all around the world they debase the currency. There are no real currencies backed by hard money anymore. There's no gold-backed currencies, no commodity-backed currencies. It's all backed by trust. Trust the government that they're gonna be good for it, I guess. It's an insane system. It's worthless paper that we all, for some reason, agree has value, but they keep printing, 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 devaluing everybody's currencies. So if you keep cash in the bank, you earn no interest on it, and every single year it's worth less because they print more and debase your money. 
What a big scam, crazy. I like this uh, meme here from Wall Street, Silver, Gen Z. When will things start to get better? Millennials say, that's the neat part. It won't. <laughs> uh, uh, well, not if CBDCs are coming anyway, and I think they are coming, and it's gonna be a real challenge, I think, for society and humanity to navigate this very scary reality of central bank digital currencies and the terrifying prospect of what they're actually bringing for society. As the Cato Institute says, CBDCs threaten Americans' core freedoms. I absolutely agree. Now, I wanted to quote this guy here. This is Robert F. Kennedy Jr. He's the nephew of JFK, I think like that. Anyway, he said some stuff about CBDCs. See, right now, the Federal Reserve, they're going to introduce their FedNow program, which isn't exactly central bank digital currencies, but it's pretty damn similar. So that's coming out in July. He says CBDCs grease the slippery slope to financial slavery and political tyranny. He's absolutely right. Well, cash transactions are anonymous. A CBDC will allow the government to surveil all our private financial affairs. They will know everything that you ever do with your money, and they also restrict you from what you can and cannot buy. The central banks will have the power to enforce dollar limits on our transactions, restricting where you can send money, where you can spend it, and when your money expires. Remember, this is the power of fully programmable money. They will be able to make your money expire. That's scary. Don't spend it in 30 days, it's gone. So you either have to go dump it into the stock market or lose it. You can't save it. Want to buy a bottle of vodka? Oh, sorry, you've said some bad things on social media this week. Your account's restricted from buying cigarettes and alcohol and whatever else, right? <sighs> scary stuff. A CBDC tied to a digital ID and social credit score will allow the government to freeze your assets and to limit your spending to approved vendors if you fail to comply with arbitrary diktats, i.e vaccine mandates. Not a far stretch to imagine that when you have fully programmable digital money in the next crisis comes along, a lot of people in the world will treat it as second-class citizens who didn't get vaccinated. It'd be very easy to implement financial restrictions on them by using CBDCs. Look at everything we know about the history of how governments have operated and how banks have operated and then ask yourself, do you really believe they wouldn't do this if they're giving themselves the power to do it? Of course they will. The Fed will initially limit its CBDC to interbank transactions. We should not be blind to the obvious danger that this is the first step in banning and seizing Bitcoin. Interesting. Just as the Treasury did with gold 90 years ago in 1933. They don't want you to be free. They don't want you to have options. They want to control you. This has always been about control for governments and the giant corporations and banks that own the governments. This is why they want CBDCs. CBDCs are slave money. They're slave money. Fiat currency has been terrible. And this takes all the worst parts of fiat currency and implements, wraps it all up basically in technological tyranny. We should resist the CBDC movement. It's not funny. There's some funny parts in this video today, but that's not funny. CBDCs are scary, man. And unfortunately, they are coming very soon to a country near you. So anyway, okay. That's it. Let me know what you think about all this stuff around CBDCs down below in the comment section. Subscribe now, by the way, if you're not subscribed to the channel, and I'll see you next time.